Hello again. Something to which my attention was recently drawn is the fact that many game shows and quizzes on television appear very eager to have black people as contestants. There is one exception though, and this is Mastermind. There have been efforts to recruit more black people and homosexuals as contestants on the programme, but with little success, at least as far as those of African or Caribbean heritage are concerned. The reason for this is very simple. A black person did win Mastermind once, 20 years ago, but black contestants as a rule failed to make it through the selection process due to their lack of general knowledge. It is easy enough to find black people who have encyclopedic knowledge of a specialist subject, such as some aspect of music or sport, but this is only part of the challenge. They also have to answer questions on general knowledge, and that is where black people are weeded out early in the selection process for contestants to appear on the show. Of course, the BBC have appointed a black host to ensure that at least one black person will be in camera shots during the programme. But as for finding black people with a good store of general knowledge, this has so far defeated them. The reason for this is fairly straightforward. An awful lot of black people born in Britain reject the values and culture of the society in which they live. They wish to celebrate instead the achievements of countries of the Caribbean or Africa, and since these are more often in music or sport than they are science or literature, this is the kind of general knowledge which they pick up. Many deliberately reject the history taught at school because they claim that it is white history and there are not enough black people in it. This is quite um, a matter of some controversy at the moment, and schools are trying to work more black people into history lessons by the by. This attitude, though, can prove a crippling handicap if somebody wishes to get on academically beyond the level of um, GCSEs or A-levels. Suppose, for example, you want to study English at Oxford University. Let me explain why, um, as it goes some way towards explaining the lack of black students at the best universities. Let's imagine I wish to study 19th century English literature. Without a strong grounding in history and general knowledge, this will simply be hopeless. It'll be impossible. To take a couple of my favourite books, Dickens' Bleak House and um, Anthony Trollope's Dr Thorne, both concern women who are illegitimate. Without a thorough understanding of English history and a good deal of general knowledge around the subject, it will be literally impossible to understand the plots of those books, which hinge around the awful stigma of being illegitimate. If all you know about is the modern world, none of this will make any sense at all to you. Who cares if their mothers were not married? The language too will be incomprehensible, when people in Victorian novels talk of making love, they do not mean sexual activity, but what we would now call flirting or chatting up. When we read of a man making violent love to a woman, it simply means he is coming on to her a little forcefully, not that they are in the sack together. Unless a teenager is prepared to study history, get to grips with the past, and learn a lot of the background to English society and pick up a wide store of general knowledge, there's little chance of getting to Oxford to study literature. If they don't learn about scientific discoveries and the history of science, most of which were made in Europe, then they're unlikely to get to do chemistry or physics either. The lack of interest in what is seen as white history has a devastating effect upon the choices that you're able to make when it comes to higher education. Which brings us, of course, to David Lammy, who was born in um, Britain in 1972. He's born in England, grew up here, went to school, Tottenham. I'm thinking now of his performance when he appeared on Celebrity Mastermind um, a few years ago. 
Inevitably, his specialist subject was the boxer Muhammad Ali. Remember what I said about music and sport? I give a link in the description to this video to Lamy, um, who was almost unbelievably Minister of State for Higher Education in Gordon Brown's government. Just listen to his answers to questions such as which king came after Henry VIII? That would be Henry VII, according to David Lamy. What was the married name of Marie and Pierre, who won the Nobel Prize for their research into radiation? Antoinette, Minister for Higher Education, if you don't mind. It is not lack of intelligence holding black people back, nor is it white racism, but rather a particular attitude which entails rejecting the culture in which they grow up and trying instead to focus upon matters relating to others who share their skin colour. We need to look no further than this for an explanation of why so few black teenagers get into Oxford and Cambridge, and why certain subjects at university seem to be dominated by white students. The lack of black people in various professions is also part of the same problem. A lack of general knowledge and a deliberate avoidance of picking it up can prove a terrible handicap not only in getting to compete in a television quiz show like Mastermind, but also in becoming a historian or a physicist. 